you're going to do what? But how are you going to get a job, like a real job with benefits so that you can take care of yourself and support yourself? I'm 19 and I just told my mother that I'm dropping out of university to pursue a career in boxing. <laughs> we are standing in the kitchen face to face going toe to toe deliberating about my future. But mom, boxing is more than just fighting for me. It gives me confidence, it boosts my self-esteem. It gives me focus, direction. It gives me something to practice and improve upon and be proud of. It gives me purpose. I go on to explain all the reasons why I don't want to stay in school to my mother, whose deepest desire when she was my age was to receive a formal education. Before I was born, she immigrated here from a faraway village growing up at a time when little girls weren't allowed to go to school. My grandfather denied her that right and decided for her that she was going to become a seamstress, just like her mother, so she did. She went on for decades, mastering her craft, working her skills, and building up a reputation as still one of the most highly sought after dressmakers and alterations experts in this country. She created beautiful works of art. She contributed to society possibly in a way that she couldn't have if she had taken a different route. And she still does it with exquisite integrity. Her work is sure to leave behind an impressive legacy. Her name is Fernanda. But all the accomplishments in the world would never erase what is still her biggest regret. I felt so guilty for so long, as if I didn't appreciate this opportunity that I was given, that she was denied. Except I love learning. I respect credentials and I value education. I just didn't want to be sitting in a classroom. I knew exactly where I wanted to be. So I enrolled into the School of Hard Knocks. The boxing gym became my lessons. Avoiding punches was my teacher. Instead of writing essays, I was writing my own story. Instead of following a curriculum, I devised a game plan. After being undefeated in competition, I went on for the next 20 years of my career, teaching, leading, speaking, training, inspiring, empowering, changing lives, and even breaking barriers in my sport. In 2018, I became the first ever female professional boxing ring announcer in Canada. Don't you see, instead of a degree, I was recording my own pedigree. Blood, sweat, and years dedicated to my craft, just like my mother did. Sometimes in life, we box ourselves inside of someone else's square. Sometimes we squeeze into a dress that looks really good, but feels so uncomfortable. No offense, Mom. My mom eventually stopped making me dresses. This woman who gave birth to me sewed this for me. She was showing me all along how to stay true to my birthright, which as adults is to make decisions that work for us instead of working around all the decisions made for us. And she is here tonight. Thank you, Mom.